Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss why, why, as far as a why, why bank. We always hear the phrase, why, why, you always tie, and this, that's what we do. We ground the primary, we ground the secondary is neutral, bond them together, good earth ground. That's just what we do. Why do we do it? Why, why can I tell you, we always have the Y deltas. Well, the Y delta is always preferred to float it. Well, why can't we do it on the Y, Y? In this video section, we're going to show you why you cannot do that. And that's one cool thing about this model is, is we get to check these little scenarios out. It's like a wonder if, a wonder why. Well, we've done this, and actually what we've come up with and do on our research and, you know, checking it out ourselves, there is a harmonic buildup between the Y primary and the Y secondary that builds up a charge on the secondary voltage. Whenever they're tied together, they suppress each other. But anyway, right now we're going to show you the voltage of what we have with the Y tied. As you can see up here, all the H2s are tied together. And if you can't, I promise they are. It comes back here to the back, bonded to the main line neutral. As far as the secondaries, all tied together, bonded to the main line neutral. Check voltage. Go to A phase. 124. Still good. We got a little bit high voltage in the building today. 120.8. 121.4. Phase to phase. A to C is 208, right at uh, 212. B to C, 215. A to C, 212. Like I said, voltage is a little bit off in the building today. We got a lot of equipment running in this building, but those voltages are acceptable for what we're doing, especially with these little no load transformers. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna de-energize the bank and I'm gonna float the high side ground. Bank is de-energized, high side ground. I'm gonna take it over here and isolate it. Actually, I'll just let it hang down. So you can see it over here to the side. Re-energize the bank. Come over here and check voltage. Now when we've done the test, the voltage increases. Uh, what do I have here? Approximately 17% phase to ground. From A, B, and C to ground is about a 17% increase. Phase to phase, approximately a 5% increase. So 141.4 for A, B, 137, 138. We're climbing on up there to 140 and C phase. A little bit higher, we got 146. Now we're going to go phase to phase. A to C, 214. A to B, 217, B to C, 217. We can see that the voltage has increased. Actually, the scenario that we were told to happen with this, with this kind of voltage, it was enough to go inside a building to burn quite a bit of equipment up. So, this is why we always tie a YY bank. And something else I want to show you why I've got this back here floated. If for some reason the Y on the high side was to become loose for any reason, hang down on a pole or whatever, you're working out of a bucket, just be aware of that Y if the floating jumper that was tied, well, it's now floating, it comes loose. Back here, I'm going to get my connection on the floating high, take it to ground. We're getting approximately 65 volts. Up here on the primary is 120 phase to ground on each, 208 phase to phase. So that's 65 volts. It's half the primary voltage. So whatever system voltage you're working on, just be aware if the Y comes loose and there's a jumper in the clear, you could have half the primary voltage on that. Just be aware of that. And check out our other videos we have with three phase innovations where we do a lot of different scenarios and situations you might see in the field.